Hello friends, family, and other creatures of the sea. Welcome back to another high-level game of StarCraft 2. Today in the top right, spawning as our Red Zerg player playing for Team Kai Z Gaming. It is Rainer. And in the bottom left, spawning as our blue Terran player. It is Mixu, Apatri Zelda, Flobio, and I think Jeremy. So four people Archon against Rainer. This is the preferred way for Rainer to practice Terran versus Zerg before big tournaments. He's done it in the past. So we see uh, Apatry and Rainer chatting. Rainer uh, talking about his insane work ethic. I played more than 20 games today and has haven't lost yet. <laughs> Mixu <laughs> with the classic shut up. He's, he's focused here. He's very focused. All right. So TVZ. Now, uh, one, of the, one of the reasons why Rainer likes to play like this is... Um, because he feels like that a lot of the time in Europe, there's not that many players that can give him a very high level game like the Koreans can when it comes to Hellion movement, when it comes to Banshee movement. If you have four players controlling a Terran army, there's going to be a lot of multitasking, kind of mirroring that type of uh, Korean level of play. So the, the drops going all around. And even if the individual skill level of the player isn't necessarily as high as Maru, if there's a player that is, for example, like Apatry Zelda or Mixu, which are uh, Grandmaster players, if they control an army, they can still control it relatively well if they if that's all they're focusing on. There's no macro that they need to focus on because there's someone else. So, um, yeah, it, it is kind of interesting. It's, a, it's an interesting approach, and I'm curious to see how it's going to end up working out here. As uh, Rainer opening up with a standard hatchery first, and we see a CC on the natural coming down as well as an SEV scout. I can chat. I guess it's easier for the Terrans to chat as well. I'm not quite sure what's going on here. I'm not sure if I want to... Uh, if I want to know what this was. But uh, <laughs> let's focus on the game. I hope they'll do the same thing here. As we see a single drone going into the gas here. For some, uh, for some speed, of course. Hatchery will come down at this point. As the Reaper here being controlled by one player. Full focus on the Reaper. Let's see what it can achieve here. One. This is a hit. Grenade hits nothing. Being shift click here on one of the links. Not quite the control that Maru would have, but maybe one link? No, not the correct target fire. Okay, Creep Tumor will be capable of going down here relatively easily as well because this Reaper has a decent chunk of damage on it already. Grenade will connect, but the Creep Tumor will stay alive here. 30 C immediate long, immediately on the way. As we see the factory finish up. Question now is going to be, are we going to see a second gas? Or is this going to be a... Well, surely second gas first. Because I do see a starport. Oh, maybe it's like a Viking build. Is a possibility. Pretty late second gas here. Marine made its way across the map. This is something we never see. Marine just to uh, poke a little bit at these overlords, I guess. Making sure that the spotting isn't quite as good as it usually is. I mean, speed doesn't finish until... Well... 350 is usually in this matchup. Did the Reaper die? How can four players controlling one Reaper let the Reaper die? Yikes. <laughs> yeah, this is, this, is, this is actually a pretty large yikes moment. This is, this is not the way it's supposed to be, that's for sure. Rainer calling it as it is. As, uh... Yeah, that's nah, that is extremely yikesy here. That is extremely yikesy. 30 z is about to finish up. Hellions can make their way across the map. And are already making their way across the map. First Banshee on the way. As Cloak will start soonish as well. Most likely. Curious to see what their follow-up is going to be. Most likely just a triple Rex. I don't think we're going to be seeing any mech here. Ooh, dive in. Ooh. That was some cute control there on those cards. Actually getting the Creep Tumor using the Splash. Uh, by attacking the Queen. And then, you know, the, the Splash damage of the car managed to take out the Tumor. Anyway, second Tumor is going to be taken out here as well. One car gets rallied in. How is this possible? Four people. This is this is what you get when uh, too many cooks in the kitchen. Uh, so far, so good, though. Four cars stay alive. Little bit of uh, damage taken on them. Could be sent back in the future. We have a road warrant on the way here. This is a different approach than what we're used to seeing out of Rainer, who's known to be a very heavy Ling Bane player. Good control on those Ling Banes as well. First car goes down. Couple of creep tumors taking damage. God, I want to know who's in control of these cars because it's not looking all that hot. Spore on the way in the main at a perfect timing. 450, I believe, is the usual timing against the Triple CC Banshee. 3C Cloak uh, needs about another 20 seconds to finish up here. 
First Banshee just roaming around trying to do something. A couple of creep tumors have been denied. First six roaches are on the way. Is this an attack or is this a defense? I'm not even quite sure. This feels like a like a defensive seven roaches. Speed has finished as well. Do we have a lair? No, we don't have a lair. Okay, it's gonna be. I don't know what this is. I I'm, I'm not entirely aware of, 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 of what we're looking at here. Creep spread is looking feisty though. That's the one thing I'll have to admit immediately. We have a lot of creep tumors here towards the bottom side. Quick scan could deal with that, perhaps. There we go. One, two, three. Could dive deeper for maybe an extra two more. There we go. Dives in, moves away. As this Banshee is looking for an angle here where there's no spore. Finds the angle, takes out one worker. Queens in the natural will take care of that Banshee, though, making sure it's not going to pop in. One of the things that's interesting is that Raynor does not connect the main with the natural. Instead, opting for a, a faster creep tumor on the low ground, a second creep tumor on the low ground, or a third creep tumor on the low ground, allowing for slightly more creep spread on the map, but could make defensive queen rotations a little bit harder for him. So I would still like to see that creep tumor come down. And here we have it indeed in the main base. Lair's about to finish up, which is going to be rather handy if you want to take a fourth base and you're fighting against Banshees. It is pretty much a necessity. This drone will be taken out and the fourth base will need to wait a little bit. Double Evo's coming in. So we're already on six gases. This is either going to be some so, so, some cave bobby play. So I'm thinking Roach, Hydra, Lurker, or... Well, that's pretty much it. I don't think there's an or here. I think that's just the only thing I can really imagine. Overseer finishes up as these Banshees start taking a little bit of a beating. Creep is resetting up over here on the bottom side. There's no active tumors in the middle. So the Terran players have been doing a pretty decent job at that. 10 drones on the way as well as 1-1 one, one on the Roaches. Uh, as we see the range upgrade as well as carapace so most likely going to be a, a, a roach heavy player sometimes you see just like seven safety roaches into nothing but this is going to be seven safety roaches into something else you have an inf infestation pit coming down as well now we're talking but what are we talking about because there's a bailing nest as well as an infestation pit well we'll have to wait and see what this is going to end up being Where's the first marines? There's a double drop, okay. It's on the other side of the map right now. Creep tumors are being taken out. Can we get a scan? No need. Hardly any tumors here. There's tumors right next to the hatchery. One queen dies, second queen in a bit of trouble. Roach is coming back home. As a, a bunch of drones get targeted down as well. Pick up not entirely tight here. As do we still have some banshees flying around? There's one banshee that is alive, just kind of patrolling at home this drop lands in towards the main base for cc coming up can we get the 2-2 upgrade started immediately do we have an armory yes we do so 2-2 can basically start um the moment i think a tank needs to be cancelled or a medevac 2-2 almost always has priority in this case over medevacs or tanks 85 workers here for rainer who is getting his baneling speed and after this probably goes into carapace and plus one melee i guess that's the only thing I can really imagine. As these marines pop in as well, we now have a, uh, a double drop on the left side, a double drop on the right side, and all of those are being micro somewhat simultaneously. Lots of units moving towards that left. There's hardly any creep in that location right now, and there's no way that Raynor soon is going to be capable of taking a fifth base. Doesn't have a macro hatch in the main, and thus is floating a decent chunk of cash as well. A little bit of a surprising start here, as this tank is going to siege up. It's a nice position. It's gonna deny this fifth base, that's for sure. Right side still active as well. Now we have a double drop heading towards the middle. So three control groups of action. One player in charge of the macro, and that has been tied. Tutu has started as well here. Roaches can't clean this up with the tank in the back. And this hatchery is not gonna go up either. Double drop heading towards, well, I'm not so sure where it's heading. Probably gonna boost in towards the main base. Can we get a boost? Can we get a boost? Yes, we can. Is there a spore in the main? Yes, there is. Or in the natural, sorry, but it's not in position. Links need to move in very rapidly as one medevac is going to get targeted down here. No, it's not. It's going to stay alive at least temporarily. Let's take a look at the first person view here out of Rainer. It's paying attention to all different threats at the same time with a current APM of 410 average while his opponent is averaging 1000 APM right now. 1100 APM. Current APM 2600. That's what you get when you have four players going ham, I guess. Three Vipers are on the way. Rainer survives. Creep, though, pretty much gone. We'll need to figure out a way to, to take this into the late game. <clears throat> without a lot of creep. Without that many good units. He has 30 roaches right now, which are practically useless. 
because the tank count is growing, the marauder count is growing, and all of these things kill roaches at a very high pace. Roach is only going to be having plus one range as well, because I think Rainer's plan here was to go into a melee upgrade. Seems like we're uh, reconsolidating some of the army here towards the right side of the map. Tanks want to be together. Not entirely sure about this setup. I, 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 yeah, I, I think splitting off a part of the army is almost always going to be useful. Seems like the target is going to be the fifth base. Oh my god, I love this position here. That's huge. That's a huge position, actually. No ravagers whatsoever in this army means that these tanks uh, are going to be capable of dealing quite some damage. High ground, though, is being spotted here by something. Uh, but this guy's dishing out a crap ton, of, crap ton of damage. Crap ton of damage. This Medivac stays alive. Will get cleaned up. No banelings yet. And fifth base is going to get cancelled for what feels like a second or a third time. I think before that they didn't get killed, but just cancelled. So still counts. But doesn't count in the unit loss tab. We have more. <laughs> it's going to be base five here. That's built on location. Base six is already flying over and it's going to turn into a planetary Vehicle weapons level 2, plus 3 uh, infantry weapons as well. And the Ghost Academy just finished up. Drops are continuing going ham. We have the middle army, we have a right side army, and we have a left side army. Now heading in towards the main base. Vipers could make some work of that, though. Double parasitic bombs. One of these medifacs is going to go down before marines get the drop. And that was the medifac that was full. So now it's going to be just four marines and a dead medifac. And it's not entirely what you want. One more parasitic bomb is going to be necessary. There we go. And this bad boy is also going to end up falling. That's 100 gas that you will lose. So, of course, 100 minerals. Here comes the Marauder Marine drop. Maybe capable of taking out this fort base. That would be kind of big, actually, because that would put Rainer back on three. He's definitely struggling to stay alive in this game. He does have the Ultralisk out, and they're very tiny Ultralisks. <laughs> 1200 average APM. Maybe these Ultras can do something, but that one just got absolutely blasted. We still have these armies moving independently from one another, of course. Um, the funny thing is you can also first person every everyone on the team. So you have one player that is just basically macroing. Or there should be one player that's basically macroing. I guess that's this fella. Yeah, this seems to be the macro player. Look at that. Just only looking at macro, nothing else. Pure macro, pure macro. Um... Then we have this bad boy who's controlling the far right drop. And then we have someone who is controlling the main army and assisting in the macro a little bit as well. It's like a helicopter parent, you know, not happy enough with just doing the main army. Also helicopter parenting at the same time. Rain, of course, has to fight all of these threats by himself alone. We have the ghost coming out right now. One ghost is here couple more coming out tank count is relatively low that means that these ultras could potentially do something this is a large army there's no banelings at all here on the right side to help defend oh yo 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 this could be an issue actually tank is going to get taken out this planetary in trouble banelings moving forward will connect with these scvs and that means this planetary is now toast at the same time rainer is looking at losing his fourth base it's going to be reset back to three I uh, wouldn't mind if some of these tanks get set up behind the wall. Cheeky pickup. Okay, here we go. Solid stuff. And there's still so many bases here for the Terran players. How many orbitals do they have? They're at five orbitals. So even if they lose a couple of planetaries, eventually... No, don't run away with the SEV. Surely repairing here is the correct call. Keeping that alive for a little bit longer. That seemed like a mistake, if anything. Uh, but perhaps for Rainer, the mistake was here queuing up against four players. And he's definitely struggling so far in this game. I think Terran just needs to kind of sit back, relax a little bit, build up an army, get the bases set up. I mean, it's easy to go back up to five bases. You have the five orbitals as well. So life should be good as long as you don't take an awful fight. I think Terran is going to be absolutely fine here. Benji in the army, as we see, honestly, fairly mediocre control on this Marauder Marine army. Uh, completely in the orange here. We have another double drop in the natural. We'll snipe the bailing nest. It has to be rebuilt immediately. And I think that this might just be it. Rainer set back right now on three bases. Tyrants continue expanding. Going up to one, two, three, four, five, six. We have a tank over here on the left side. It's two tanks, one ghost, and three marines. It sounds like the start of a joke, but not a very funny one. At least not for Rainer. Oh, a couple of parasitic bombs coming in here. Yeah, income heavily favoring the Terran right now. I'm surprised that Rainer's staying in. He must believe that he still has one attack in him, but 
The problem is just getting across the map. Every single time he tries to move out, another drop hits somewhere else. Look at this. Drop in the main, drop at the third, drop in the natural, drop at your creep. And then there's a lot of units still at home as well. More and more tanks are in production. Ghost pumping out as well. And I'd love to see a couple more medevacs. We do have seven, but they're largely out of energy because of the, the overstimming that uh, the right side player over here is doing. Ling run by is being sent out. A couple of banings being constructed as well as his Porsche trying to do its best but it's uh yeah she's not going to be good enough if someone is just paying attention to that drop it's not gonna die. look at that single goes here being microed against the two ultralisk is not going to end up surviving it's a couple of SEVs get sent across the map perhaps for a manor command center classic manor cc Ooh, there's no planetary here means that the links actually could deal some damage overall resources lost is very close as well the only reason the Terrans are winning here is because they've been outmining their opponent. Poof, poof. Couple of snipes going down. No steam yet on this main army. The main army control is, is not brilliant, that's for sure. The Ultralisk are trying to get a, a couple of hits on these ghosts. Not quite going to end up getting it. Starport will be forced to lift soon. Another redrop. I think as long as they're dropping, Rainer is just in in trouble majority of the time. Income is still heavily favoring the Terrans here as Helbits are being morphed. Where did these bad boys come from? 25k against 25k in the units lost. Three Vipers. We have a nuke coming down as well here. I think that's being spotted by Rainer though. Might throw some bows here on the high ground once he sees that. Yep, there we go. Nuke is not going to land as the ghost dies before he could... Uh, send over the coordinates uh, very accurately. At least I think that's what he's doing, right? He makes a red dot and makes it makes it go slower and slower, or closer and closer, until it's like a tiny little red dot, and then the nuke knows where it needs to go. Interesting concept. I wonder what happens with the nuke because you see it fly out of the silo. Like what happens when the ghost dies? Does it just go into space and blow up a moon or something? There you are on your family holiday to the moon. In the year 20, 20, 247 or whatever it is. Get hit by a nuke. Because a ghost forgot to send the proper coordinates. Life isn't fair. First holiday in, in months. With your spaceship camper. Or whatever it is people will use in the future. Oh, this looks interesting. Okay, I get a couple of snipes. I think we can. Puff, puff. No, we can't. Absolutely can't. These bad boys, what are they doing? I don't know what they're doing. Probably winning the game. Rainer did manage to re-establish some bases, actually, which is fairly impressive. Oh, another nuke uh, coming out. I caught it this time, though. Straight into the sky, my friends. He's gonna nuke his own army here? No shot. Oh no, he's gonna bait the nuke. No, it didn't quite work out. The nuke is going to get cancelled here at the last second, so I don't even get to see it. Life isn't fair. Life truly isn't fair. All I want in my life is to see this nuke go off. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That was a huge fungal. A couple of parasitic bombs going down as well, but bases continue being taken here for the Terran Force. That means that uh, Zerg is right now going to be in a little bit of trouble, but less trouble than before. Because you kill a lot of units, that's good. Resources lost still fairly close. We see the Investor Viper Ultra Bane composition actually kind of paying off here. It's double drop heads towards the very top side. That's 16 Marines with a dream. And now two Marines don't have a dream anymore. That's because they died. CCs being built on location, of course, pose a pretty big... Uh, a risk to the SEV that's in them because well, they're exposed. So the moment the Ling run by shows up, the base is gone. Redropping going on here on the top side as we have these links now trying to head in towards this location, but there is a planetary there and thus uh, the links shall be unsuccessful as the prophecy had predicted. Bunkers here with the increased l HP. And the and the, the extra capacity as well. GG gets called as the Terrans are going to end up winning. I think too good of a mid game here. Early game, honestly, didn't even look that great, but the mid game just too hard for Rainer. Had so many roaches, was forced into so many roaches and couldn't quite do it. End result here APM of 1420 against 543.
And uh, that, my good friends, is going to be it for me today. Thanks all so much for watching. Hope you did enjoy this. If you did, don't forget to like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see all of you next time for a new video. Bye-bye.